When he was younger, Remy's favorite movies were The Rock and Bad Boys, two Michael Bay movies featuring action, adventure, and Navy SEALs. Now looking for a fresh start in life, he decided he would join the Navy and become a SEAL himself. I wanted to be challenged. You know, my life had been hard, and I wanted to make it harder. However, due to his criminal history, joining the Navy would be a bigger challenge than he thought. I had two warrants out for my arrest, which I didn't know I had. Um, and there was a Navy recruiter named Tiana Reyes. When I went to her office, she ran my background, found that I had two warrants. I had a warrant in New Jersey, I had a warrant in New York. And I got, I got up and got ready to run out of the recruiting office. And she said, where are you going? I'm getting out of here. I'm not trying to go to jail today. And she said, uh, come back tomorrow in a suit. I said, I don't have a suit. She said, come back in some, a collar shirt and some nice pants. And I did. And she took me to both judges, uh, the judge in Jersey, the judge in New York. And she, she was in her dress uniform. And she advocated on my behalf. Uh, you know, she said 9-11 just took place. Uh, this guy's trying to join the Navy after an act of war. Can we expunge his record um, so that he could join the military? And both judges unanimously expunged my record. That's how I got in the Navy. And, uh, you know, her decision to do what she did for me really motivated me to stay out of trouble in the Navy and, and then work hard and achieve my dream of being, being becoming a SEAL. Remy's challenges weren't over yet. Despite being eligible to join the Navy, he couldn't swim and scored too low on the physical and mental aptitude tests to qualify for SEAL training. Remy enlisted as a corpsman and was assigned to the Naval Hospital at Camp Pendleton as his first duty station. Immediately after checking into his command, he began training for basic underwater demolition SEAL training, known as BUDS. After only a year at his command, he qualified for SEAL training and checked in for BUDS. He made it through the notoriously difficult phase of training known as Hell Week, but was held back in training due to being a weak swimmer. Now, from a mental toughness standpoint, I was all there. You know, the issue with me at that point was more pride. <laughs> it was more, I made it through Africa, I made it through the Bronx. It's not many African Americans in SEAL training <laughs> as it is. So instead of working on what I needed to work on on the weekend, because the instructors would show up on the weekend for guys who made it through Hell Week, they would sh the instructors would show up and, and help work, on, work with guys on stuff they were struggling with, whether it was you know, diving related stuff or swims or whatever. And I was out partying on the weekend. Because in my mind, I already made it. Like, I'm gonna make it. And it was all my pride. My pride is where I failed. And so when I got to second phase and the swim times for the two mile time ocean swim dropped from 85 minutes to 80 minutes, I failed my, my first two swims. I didn't make the time. And then I got to dive phase and I failed the test four times in dive phase. And at that point, the instructors were just like, dude, you know, you're a hard dude. We see that you've made it through hell week. You know, you made it through first phase, you've gotten this far, but you need to work on your swims. And this is not the place for you to work on it anymore. And they kicked me out of buds. 